Okay, in my um, I was going through my storage and I found some old stuff I had. Like this was manufactured way back in 2002. It's my old Plex, uh, my USB um, uh, Plexter drive. It's USB 2.0. This is one of the first ones. And um, my goal is to swap it out with a DVD burner. So it's an old, um, uh, you know, CD DVD rewritable. It's an old IDE drive. That's what they didn't have SATA back in 2002. So, and this is one that I had um, bought way back in the day, and um, still works. I don't have any computers with IDE anymore, but I do have this, and this would be handy. So, I'm gonna find a way to take it apart. There's four handy screws here and here, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Once you get the screws off, the this thing, these things right here, they're just held in with little snaps. Like that. And the cover should just slide right off. So, after sliding off the cover, that is what you're left with. You have a IDE ribbon, you have your audio connector down there, and then the power connector down there. Then you have your PCB in a nice little metal container. It's kind of cool. It's very well built. So, I just got to get off those four screws holding the drive into the enclosure. And I should be able to pop the new one in. Okay, I just got the, the, the screws out. And now, it just opens up like so. Gives you all the little connectors. So we should be able to remove the audio. Oh, that's in there good. Got the IDE. Wow, that's in there good. Just one sec, I need two hands. There we go. So I got the power connector out. So what I'm gonna do is do the old switcheroo. I got a screw in there. I won't need that in there anymore. No more screws. So these have jumpers. So so on the far left, it's that set to master. So I need to set this one here to master. So master is again number three, and it's already on three. Slick. So now we just reconnect everything. Put that in there. So, so I've updated once I get it all screwed in there. This drive is a lot shorter than the old one. You can see the if I line up the drive, the front of the drives together, that the the new ones like an inch are so shorter. So so I'm bringing it a little bit more up to date and. Um, that's got to put the screws in it. Line up the screw holes. Put the four screws back in. Here we go. Got them in. Oh, though it's not going to have a Plexter drive, this thing still works. The old um, Plexter writer, I think, still works. So I'm going to pop this guy back on there. I 
think I have the wrong one on the wrong side. Now I'm not sure. Hmm. There we go. Goes on that one. Yeah, I, these might be, uh, specific to which side, like that one doesn't go that way, so I think I have to turn it around that way. Like it might be an up and a down. Yeah, there is. Maybe? Yeah, you fit that way. Cool. I just gotta put those four, four screws back in. I'll pause it. There we go. It's all back together. Looks like it, I haven't even touched it, except that it has a DVD rewriter on there. So, pretty cool, huh? So, now it's maybe useful now. So now, the final um, thing to see if this thing is good is to plug it into my computer. Ah, I think that's 12 volts. And it's on. It's blinking. It's got power. Now let's go, ah, way up here onto my computer. rendering some stuff. Computer DVD RW There she be USB device That's awesome. So it works. Yay, success. So, that's how you, um, um, make it, uh, update a USB enclosure that had a CD drive and upgrade it to a DVD burner. Which may be, uh, more useful if it was SATA rather than IDE, but it's probably going to stay in storage again, so, I don't know. <laughs>